There was reason to think Jeremiah Masoli may never get another chance to start a CFL game given everything he's been through. You know full well what happened with the leg injury in 2022, and then he only managed to play in 16 plays before the Achilles injury last season. It had been over a year, and he put on, all things considered, Pretty good performance and leading a game-winning drive for the Ottawa Red Blacks. He said it this week, I am nervous because I do not want to let my teammates down. We have a really good football team, a lot of great players in the room, and we've done a lot of good things to start the season. I just want to do my part. And did he? 27 to 35, 254 yards, some really great locations, but some really good decision-making process. Zero interceptions, 254 yards, one touchdown. His ability, he only has 17 yards rushing, but he escaped the pocket to get first downs. He climbed the pocket to get check downs and keep his team on the field and made some spectacular throws like this one to Acklin and then just put himself in a position to kick the game winner. And that's what you want from your quarterback. Can, can I drive the length of the field, escapes the pocket to get to Braylon Addison here with two seconds left for the amazing win for the walk-off for Lewis Ward. First win since he was a Hamilton Tiger Cat. And interesting, the Hamilton connection, as you saw Acklin on that catch, then Addison as well. And here is Jeremiah Masoli now with Farhan Lalji. Jeremiah, you told me before the game that you didn't want to think about just the magnitude of all of this, the comeback and everything like that. But now you're here and you just pulled off a dramatic comeback. What does this all mean to you? A lot, a lot, man. I could cry just thinking about it, you know? Been through a lot, but with my boys here, just having my back means the world to me. Made some mistakes tonight, but everybody kept, you know, patting me on the back and saying, keep going. So I just appreciate my team. Just want to give a big shout out to my parents, my wife, and my two kids. Thank you. Just talk a bit about that support system and how hard this comeback was. What was the hardest part? Uh, just doing it every day, showing up, making sure I was showing up. Everything else was in place, man. God aligned everything for me to be here. And like I said, I just have a great support system. I don't know, man. I could cry right now. Just, just so happy about everything. And, just love this team. Hey, my boy back, Take man. me through that final drive and third and long. You scramble to your left. You use your legs a little bit. You know, coming back off <laughs> these types of injuries, that's yeah. not easy. And you make yeah. the pass to Braylon. Yeah, no, definitely been working hard to be able to use those legs. And it felt great tonight. Um, obviously, still a little rusty. Want to have some of those throws back. But, um, yeah, just trying to get it to the playmakers like Braylon. Those guys did, it, did everything else. Thanks for this. Enjoy it. A lot of people league-wide are pretty happy for you thank tonight. You. I appreciate all the support. Honestly, thank you to CFL and everybody involved. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. Thank you. Oh, a lot of people league-wide indeed feeling good for Jeremiah Masoli just coming back and playing the game and then to play it like he did and coming up with a victory. And we had featured and talked about during the broadcast, Paul, uh, two of the best kickers in the game, not yep. only today, but ever in Lewis Ward of Ottawa, and of course, Renee Paredes of the Calgary Stampeders. And in a close game like this with all these lead changes, the kickers loomed large. Yeah, you kind of knew it was going to come down to the kickers. We said it at halftime. Hey, that some, the kickers are going to be real important. What happens? Not a lot of wind today, so you knew they were going to be able to make some kicks, especially some of those longer kicks. Rene Paradis here, just a little bit more than two minutes left. The 49-yard field goal or 48-yard to take the lead. You think game's over, but Lewis Ward with the game winner, his third walk off of his career all three of them rod this season amazing lewis is a, a cool calm collected kicker amazing job by him and this red blacks team just just able to win all these close games that they weren't able to win last year you talk about walk off wins and no one tops paredes among active kickers not even warder sean white he has 11 had one earlier this season but for ward you mentioned it he has three now, walk-off, his first three of his career walk-off wins, and here's what he had to say to Farhan. Lewis, we thought you'd get an opportunity with about a minute and a half to go. You didn't, but then you finally get it on the last play of the game, your third walk-off field goal. Just take us through it from that distance. Uh, I mean, it's a nice kick in Calgary. We all know that. Um, but, you know, just doing, doing the job. You know, the guys uh, did a good job to get down here, get us in range, um, and then that's just, you know, what we have to do to, to finish it out here. You've been through this so many times. Do you even feel the pressure now? Uh, yeah, that one I think a little more so. Um, you know, it was, it was loud in here today. Um, but I don't think, I think every kick is pretty much the same. So I try not to uh, work myself up too much on, on these uh, long ones. What did it mean for the entire team to do this for Jeremiah? Oh, it's huge, you know. Um, to see him come in a few years ago, uh, battle through injuries, 
Um, and now, you know, you look at him now and he's in top shape. He's ready to go, uh, ready to fill his role, whatever that might be. He's, he comes in every morning. He's ready to go. Um, preps for practice every day. And he's, he's one of the guys. You know, he's no different, and it's just great to see him out here play. Final thing. You've been through some of the hard times here. Six games without a loss. Does this group really believe right now? Absolutely. You know, we've got, I think, um, a lot of cylinders firing, um, complimentary football all around, offense, defense, special teams, um, you know, and, and CFL as a whole is very competitive this year. So I think, uh, you know, it's tough. We're out here surviving, um, but it's great, you know, that uh, we're winning football games. Thanks for this. Congratulations. Thank you. Coming up, that victory, the Red Blacks still a solid second behind the Montreal Alouettes in the East Division. And for Calgary, they want more consistency. They lose back-to-back -back games now. And it's close. Could have gone either way. Yeah, I mean, that could have been a Stampeder victory. What's really important for Ottawa is, you know, they got to come across the country, play in a different time zone that they played, you know, for four straight quarters, even though it's after midnight for them. You know, an outstanding win shows that the East is continuing to beat the West. And it, we have a big one next week with the BC Lions. Two games for the BC Lions against this really good Red Blacks team. Very improved Ottawa Red Blacks team with a victory. Uh, they won a dramatic game in Calgary a year ago as well. That one had gone to overtime. This one didn't need to, but won on the very last play. Jeremiah Masoli, well, some people would say he won twice tonight. Just coming back and playing after everything he's been through. His first win in 999 days. And what a sweet one it is for him as he not only played, but he ended up engineering that game winning drive as Ottawa gets set for the Lions next week at TD Place.